In Alan Lightman's book, Einstein's Dreams, he has many musings on time. One of the stories is about a life book, which is a device for people who wake up each day forgetting everything about their lives. Each day, people wake up lost and confused, wandering about the city of Bern, looking for where they live. Some of them have maps to guide them back home. And each day is their first day at work. They arrive at home and meet their families for their first times. Some of the people are so old that the books are enormous and take more than the whole day to get through. But what if instead of a book, there was something else? Something like a mirror, a mirror to consult and grow from. Instead of being trapped in what the book says you are, look into the mirror and decide who you can be. Take, for instance, the magician. He would walk up to the set of funhouse mirrors, and as he answers questions about his life, who he is, and what he is, as a person and a professional, the mirror would keep him entertained by unlocking moments from his past. For instance, learning tricks that he long forgotten, like how to saw himself in half, or how to make a row of cards jump from hand to hand. Behind this puzzle lies a set of game design principles. First and foremost, make the goal easily understood. Make it easy to get started. Give a sense of progress as they move through the mirrors. The shapes change. Give a sense of solvability by answering the questions the magician moves forward. Increase difficulty gradually. Parallelism lets the player rest. Pyramid structure extends interest. By starting broad and moving deeper into bigger questions, it's more likely that the user will continue to participate. Hints also extend interest. When people are stuck, give them the answer. And last but not least, perpetual shifts are double-edged swords. So once they understand the game, then you need to introduce something new to keep them playing. Now how would this work in action? What would it look like in front of a user? Well, let's put this in with our testers and find out. Hey, who are you? Whoa, whoa, who said that? I did, the mirror. Oh, oh, wow, who, oh, who am I? Yes. Uh, hmm. Oh, uh, oh, I'm Chewbacca. Okay, what else do you want to know? Oh, gosh, well, I didn't even remember I was Chewbacca until I saw that you, and then, well, do I have a family? You do. You're from another planet. You have another f bunch of family members. They're all tall and hairy, just like you. Oh my. What, what's the name of my planet? Uh, it's called Kashyyyk. Oh my. Oh, that does sound familiar. Well, could, could you tell me about my childhood? Sure. When you had a really fun childhood, and then as a teenager, you decided to become a space pirate. And oh. you fly a giant spaceship called the Millennium Falcon. Huh. So, what was I at? Happy child? Oh, uh, well, Joey, maybe you? I could help jog your memory. You could oh, see some things in the mirror and help you remember. Oh, 